Howdy folks, my name is Richie, aka Bog Otter. Today we're going to be checking out Inkalunati, which I backed on Kickstarter. I'm super excited to take a sponsored look, thanks to uh, Daedalic Entertainment and Yaza Games for sponsoring this segment. This is a demo that's available for everyone. I don't know how long the demo is going to be up exactly, but if you check on Steam and you uh, take a look down there, um, you'll be able to see the button if it's still available. You can play it for free. It's coming out later this year. Um, I'm super excited. I saw a trailer for this when they announced the game and my community and I went crazy because it was hilarious and we all backed it on Kickstarter and uh, now we get to play it. It's my first time tech checking it out. So, um, welcome student. Delighted to make your acquaintance. Who am I? You don't know. I am the greatest Inculunati master to ever have graced this world. Who are the Inculunati you ask? Inkalunati are the medieval masters of living ink. The living ink is the greatest secret and their greatest power. With its power, they can draw armies they, that they lead to battle in the margins of manuscripts. Inkalunati travel the world in order to duel other masters of the living ink. You are about to witness such a duel between two Inkalunati that are not particularly fond of each other. Godfrey has lost to Hildegard so many times that the desire for vengeance is all that keeps him alive. Godfrey smacks his enemies with his fist, draws valiant warhounds, and is generally vivacious. Hildegard, on the other hand, can heal, and her rabbits are able to paralyze enemies by revealing their butts. Let's see who wins this time. Oh my god. By revealing their butts? Okay. Anything in the settings we need? Let's tone the music down a little bit. Okay. Play the demo. It's a dual setting. Alright, verse AI. Normal difficulty. Alright, versus human. Oh, you can play against other peoples. Look at that. Normal and hard. <laughs> uh oh, and Inklunati. All right, let's do normal. Uh, could you pl pick who you want to be? Because I want to reveal rabbit butts. All right, well, I guess... I guess we'll hit start for now. Yeah, it see, it sees this is the player up here. This is the computer opponent. Oh, these are things I can unlock. Okay. Let's just get into it. Oh my god, this is gonna be great. Bring in the rabbits! <laughs> oh no. Here they go. They're going to battle with ink. Oh, I love it. The knight's lefty like me. Oh, this is great. I love this art style. Welcome, oh future champion of Inlinconati. Two masters of the living ink, Alucanad, and the ink. I can't even say it. Inkalunati are about to start a duel on the pages of an ancient manuscript. Each of them has their own unique army, skills, and most of all, personal Tiny Inkulunati. Tiny Inkulunati. A Tiny Inkulunati is an extraordinary beast. It can draw other beasts by spending ink, and then uses the Alinkulunati hand in order to interfere with the battlefield. Tiny Inkulunati cannot walk. It needs to be pushed in order to move. Okay. In order to win a duel of the living ink, you must destroy the tiny Inkulunati of your opponent. To do so, inflict damage equal to its health or push it out of the battlefield. This is the action panel of an active beast. At this time, it is tiny Inkulunati. Okay. Here you can select the beast you intend to draw. The ink drop next to the beast icon informs you of the cost. All right, they all cost six. Six, six, six. Oh, God. Here you can perform an action or end your turn. 
You can see the current ink level for both Ink Illuminati. It's worth to keep your eye on it. All right, 10 to 10. Draw your beast. Now draw a beast by selecting its icon from the action panel. All right, so we have dog swordman, swordsman, dog spearman, and dog archers. Hmm. Okay, does it matter which one I choose? Basic beast types. Swordmen inflict most damage, but can only attack two adjacent fields. Spearmen attack as far as two fields ahead and has the greatest movement range. And archer attacks as far as six fields ahead, but cannot attack the adjacent field. Okay. You can draw beasts around your tiny Inkalunati. Aw. Did I want to put it there? I didn't want it. Coleslaw's! You have drawn your first beast. After being drawn, your beast will remain inactive until the next chapter. You can tell by the beast's gray background. So it's kind of like summoning sickness, right? After the first few fights in this demonstration, you'll be able to unlock more beasts. Check out their special abilities. Oh my god, I want this thing. No, actually, I want this. This is like a hand duck. What? The turn will end once you perform all the actions of your tiny ankle naughty or after pressing the end turn button. All right. I can't do anything else because I'm out of ink. I don't think I should have done an archer first. Bog really just put an archer in the front. I didn't put an archer in the front. The game did. I just clicked on the archer. Okay. Let's, um... Smack? Can I look at their side? No. Alright, I'm just gonna end the turn. You get plus one ink, because I ended the turn. And look, he's got Wolf Stan. Chapter 2. See, I made it to chapter 2. Collecting ink. You can collect ink by standing on the ink stains. You will receive three ink drops for each beast standing on an ink stain at the end of the chapter. Ah, okay. Next. Select move action and point to the field with an ink stain in order to move a beast there. Moving to a green field means that the beast will, uh, will remain capable of performing an action. You can bypass other ob obstacles and objects and beasts included. They do not block the way. All right. Move. Mine. Patience rewarded with ink. Ink will be collected once all the beasts take their turn. Do not move away from here until then. Pray or end your turn. Can I shoot him? One, two, three, four. I think I'd be able to shoot him, right? When you confirm the desired target, you will see a meter moving past fields containing numbers. Click in order to stop the meter, and you will inflict the amount of damage equal to the number at which the meter halted. Tip, some attacks can affect more than one enemy at a time. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Two! <laughs> I love the animation in this. This is great. Okay. See, it was it was smart to have an archer. Um, ends the turn and gains ink. We're gonna gain two ink because that's the end of round two, I would assume, or chapter two, and then we'll get three more from standing on the ink. Smack! I can't I can't smack, right? Can I smack him? A pathetic little knight shamelessly bears his butt to deprive enemies of their turn. All right, let's go. All right, I'm up to 10 ink. The Inca Lunati duel structure. During the duel, the opponents move their beasts interchangeably, one beast at a time. The opponent's beast turns follows your own. After moving and performing actions, a beast becomes inactive and the opponent's turn begins. This beast will be able to move again once all the other beasts have taken their turn. This will be the beginning of a new chapter. Okay, this guy goes, then this guy, then this guy, then this guy. New chapter. Got it. Try switching between beasts by clicking the right mouse button. You can only switch between those beasts that have not taken any action in the current chapter. Alright, right click to switch. 
Alright, I should summon something, yeah? Move, attack, triple shot, push, pray. Pray in order to improve accuracy and damage during the next chapter. Praying beasts cannot be pushed. Push the selected enemy to the next empty battlefield. You can push beasts. All right, out of the way that way. All right. Uh, let me try pushing them. Beast action pushing. The selected beast, friend or foe, will move into the first available field in the pushing direction. This way, you can push the enemy off the battlefield or move your own beast into an ink stain. Oh, see, but I'm going to follow it up. If I push. Yeah, archers can't attack adjacent spaces. They said, yeah, but I can push. I can't use this. I can't attack. Yeah. All right, and I guess we'll try to push. Oh, now I can shoot. But, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh! That wascally wabbit! Okay, we need a swordsman. Right there. Draw that in. There you go. Uniculus! And he can't attack this turn. Alright. It's wabbit season. Duck season! Oh, I only get one ink this time. She's gonna summon too. Zlefko. I wonder if they let you change the names of your units. Place the cursor over a battlefield element in order to display uh, information. You will also find the I button at the top of the screen. Use this to show the selected instructions uh, once again. Beautiful. Okay. Make sure to check if you can benefit from switching beasts. Okay. Attack. Oh! I thought I was going to do seven. Wait, they're writing words in the chapters as we fight? Oh, he's got my... He's attacking my main guy. Don't do that. Then Wolston, the hellish fury, annihilated the fool, and may those who failed to witness this li live in constant pain and regret. Gret. Meanwhile, Caniculus feebly... <laughs> this is great! Oh, man. I need help. I can't summon anything. Everybody's, everybody's done. Chapter 5. The, uh, the apocalypse is nigh. This is the beginning of the end of the battle. Initially, you will see the field to be affected by the apocalypse in the next chapter. Everything, including your tiny Inculinati that remains in such a field, will be destroyed. If your tiny Inculinati ends up in a field encroaching fire, use shift or push action in order to save them. Similarly, you can push the enemy tiny Inculinati into fire. Kill the enemy, Tiny and Kalunati, with attacks, push them out of the battlefield, or let the apocalypse, apocalypse get them. Do this, and you shall be victorious! <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So do we know where the bad stuff's coming? I don't see any fields that are going to be on fire. Do you? I don't think so. Okay, should we do... Let's summon a spear guy. Back here. Oh, that's fire. Is that the fire there? Oh, that's the fire there. So let's not do that. There we go. I like how they clap. Stop hitting me! Strikes the selected beast for four damage. <laughs> you can use your own hand on it. 
Um, I can't summon, can I? I can summon here, but that's not good, is it? Oh, man. First thing I should have done was summoned here, so they couldn't land there, maybe. I think I'm dead. I'm gonna lose the first tutorial battle. Alright, I think there's no point in putting anything there. Inkaluminati hand action push. Pushing left and right are the two variants available. The beast selected friend or foe will move to the first available place in the direction indicated by you. Oh, maybe we do this. You can push an enemy off the battlefield or you can move one of your beasts to an ink stain. All right, can I push this one to the right? Get over there, yes. That's what we can do. And then I can have myself a spear dude. There we go. Wow. Perfect. I feel a lot better about my chances now. Nice. All right. So we're in trouble here now. I can move all the way up here. She moved forward. Okay. Let's move this one up. Move him forward. All right, I think that's it. Those guys have already gone. Maybe you're supposed to lose. No, I think we're okay. Battlefield gets smaller and smaller. Backstab. Backstab, eh? All right, I don't have enough to summon. Um... First things first, move him forward. Can I smack this? <laughs> yes. You cannot select a different beast after taking an action. Oh, I can't? What if you just try to kill her? Yeah, we can. Um. So wait, once I do this kind of action, I can't move my units, it looks like. That's unfortunate. Cannot select a different beast after taking an action. Was that something I missed? Um. Yeah, they said that at the beginning. Ah, oh, okay. I just missed it then. Good to know. That's Im it's <laughs> very important to know. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, now we're gonna go. Okay. Let's attack here. Can I just push her? Hey. Hey. Um. And there's four damage. That's it. <laughs> All right. I've smashed you like a baby. Have I forgotten about Actus Mechatharra on the eve of the battle? I don't know. Did you? Oh, I love this. They wrote this whole thing out. 
Marsilius grazed the fool, and the laughter died on his lips. Marsilius assuredly advanced to meet his fate, and that was rather sad. Powerful Marsilius slugged the foe, which seemed downright impossible. Then Casimir leisurely hobbled around. Casimir struck his old friend, and God witnessed all of that. Whether he liked it or not, in the end, I got a bad case of arrowhead Isis in my thorax and passed away. <laughs> <laughs> Just generating the story as we go. Yes, Darmac and Jalad at Tanagra. I love that episode of Star Trek. Yes. Okay, game progression. Although the demo version still lacks real character progression, you will still receive new beasts, actions, and battlefields after a few duels. Okay. Cat. Hildegard can now draw a bishop cat. Godfrey can now draw a donkey bard? That fra phrase was stuck in your head while you were planting sunflowers. You don't know why? Darmac and Jalad at Tanagra. When the walls fell. <laughs> All right, we got cat and donkey now. That's great. So that was the prologue we already did, right? Small glade. All right, I guess we'll start here. Can I swap who I am? Oh, I could be Hildegard. So if I want, if I want the donkey bard though, I gotta stay as as Godfrey. All right, that's how I would have swapped it before. I was trying to figure out how to swap this over here. This is what you do. Duh. Okay. I wonder how many enemies there are too. Did we get rabbits yet? We're fighting against the rabbits. We're playing as dogs and donkeys right now. All right, carts. Obstacles prevent you from occupying certain fields. You will, however, be able to bypass them. Uh, in case of a clash between a swordsman and an archer, the swordsman will have to destroy the obstacle or push it in order to attack the opponent. Okay. Donkey Bard. His singing wakes the spirits of his allies. Able to paralyze enemies by playing the butt trumpet. He has an intrinsic element of cunning ta tactics. The butt trumpet. I think I chose correctly, Mr. John. The Donkey Bard wakes other beasts with music, granting them an extra turn in the same chapter. Playing the butt trumpet will cause all enemies in the vicinity to be paralyzed and lose their turn as a result. This is why I backed this on Kickstarter. This, right here. That's it. That was in the trailer, that donkey. And I was like, done. All right, we'll put him right here. I don't know why I summoned a bard first, but I did. Brambor. All right, and then I can shift left, right if I wanted to. Or smack. Can I smack this? Move or destroy the obstacle if you want to occupy this field. Hmm. Yeah, get, get rid of that. Can I go over here? What happens? All right, yeah, okay, push him. He gets three inks. Okay, perfect. And I have enough to summon something else too, right? Uh, let's get a dog swordsman. All right. All right, she got an archer and a knight. Hand actions. Aside from drawing, uh, tiny Inculinati is are capable of the Inculinati hand actions during their turn. Unlike with other beasts, you can perform all of the available actions. Left, right, yeah, I've already kind of noticed that. After performing a hand action, it will become inactive for a certain number of chapters. 
actions such as shift will become active in the next chapter, but strike or heal, they require, require it's basically a cooldown. Okay. You can also obtain ink if you hit the end turn button before performing an action. In case of the tiny ink Illuminati, each action performed reduces the ink increase you gain for ending the turn up to a total value of zero. Sometimes it's worse to give up a turn in return for some ink. Okay, that's why this was increased at one point. All right, that's interesting. Do the ink stains have different points based on their size, says Mr. John? I would think so. This looks like it's more ink than this one. But I'm not 100% on that. We'll see. All right, I think this this guy should move. Let's move him up here. It's three. Oh, maybe it isn't. That's three as well. They're, they're the same, I guess. Three. You just shot my donkey? What the hell's wrong with you? Music grants one additional move to an inactive ally in the chapter. I don't know if I want to move. Well, I want to move him up here. Grab the ink. Oh, now we can't do the butt. Okay. We can still, uh... Now I can't do the butt, he says. <laughs> All right. Five. Okay, five not bad. This has got to cool down. All right, my, my guys have got nothing else. Uh, I could move him. Do we want to move him forward? Let's move him forward. <gasps> I don't know if that's good or not, but I did it. Chapter three. It's behind me. Push someone out of the battlefield. Have you managed to push someone off the cliff or send them to their sad demise in the flames of the apocalypse? Yes, the second one. This is, there is hardly anything more satisfying than that. Ring out. Um. Wolfgang. Nice name. How do you like that? I gotta end my turn, huh? Does the sing option for the donkey have a limited range? Probably. Uh Yeah, you can see you can see the highlighting of the spaces, right? This is on cooldown. Can't attack that one. Let's move. Oh, this has an ink blot here. Let's move up here. And attack the rabbit. Attack both adjacent beasts. Oh, that's from both sides of them. That's interesting. Okay, let's go here. Can't kill him in one shot. Good enough. Summoning what? What is that? What is that? Spear wielding rabbit. Okay. And I think that's all they can do. So we got the three ink. He's just going ham, killing my guys. He's gonna shoot my main guy. There we go. Okay, thank you. 
paralyzes and confuses all enemy beasts within range. That's going to be these two. Let's do it. Butt trumpet. There are no targets you can put to sleep. What do you mean? No? All right. How about the attack then? Okay, the bard bard wins. Fatality. Seven! Nice. Max damage. Gotta love it. Do they have to be in front of you? Maybe. Or maybe behind... Well, they were behind me because of the butt trumpet, but I don't know. Um, I can summon again. Let me try an archer this time. Let's try the archer. <laughs> the butt trumpet, Moogle Tart! It's so good that that's an ability that we have access to. Uh oh, fire. Raise yourself. All right, here he comes. Here comes the apocalypse. All right. We're gonna move forward. Let's fill this spot. And a push! Whoa! I only have five life left. All right, donkey. Let's go with this guy and attack on both sides. Area attack. Special area attacks allow you to attack more than one enemy at a time. You will not deal extra damage to a single target, but you can attack two or even three beasts at once. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, God. Double kill! Or better. Double kill. All right, they moved out of the fire. My bard can make them do an extra thing, don't they? Oh. They gotta move. Make music. Oh, he's not in range. That's a shame. Can I move? I can't move and then do it, right? Yes. <laughs> Push! I think you're dead now. I don't think you can recover from that. Shift right. There we go. I think we got it. Funkle, thanks for following. There we go. She died in the fire. Now you see that I am the greatest Illuminati master of all time. I like it. <laughs> I love that they have this completely text based recap. Amazing. Change dual settings. Try changing the selected Belinconati the difficulty level at starting ink points. Try selecting Master. Your progression. Now you can play as the legendary Belinconati the Master, aka Yoda. And now you can duel on towers in a meadow as well as in a vast glade. Oh, nice. Towers in a meadow? Now we can play as the master. 
Okay. So plan normal. We'll do towers in a meadow. Um. We'll fight against Godfrey because I want I want to still have farting donkeys. Starting ink points, you can do whatever you want, I guess, huh? Chapters to the apocalypse. Let's do eight, and we'll start with twenty. Here we go. Gang, you can go download this on Steam for free and try this out right now. Also, Daedalic Entertainment is sponsoring today's stream. They have a whole bunch of games on sale until May 3rd. They have a Daedalic publisher sale on Steam. Check them out. Support our sponsor. Wishlist Inko Lenati to support the devs making this great game. Obstacles large. All right, large obstacles get in the way of archers and spearmen. Arrows and spears cannot penetrate them, which makes them a fantastic protection from long distance attacks. Large obstacles offer protection from being shown the butt. <laughs> they cannot, however, protect you from the sound. Uh, okay. All right, so it gets in the way of archers and spearmen. Uh, large obstacles offer protection from being shown the butt, but they cannot protect you from sound. Okay. Mmm, the master. Mmm, what 900 years old you reach. Look as good you are not. Mmm. Strange knight. Strange spearman. Strange slinger. And strange bishop. Attacks by screaming. He heals and blesses three beats simulta beasts simultaneously, including enemies. Oh. Always attacks three fields at the same time. Always attacks two in, the same, uh, in a line. Attacks two adjacent fields. Wow. Okay, uh, and you can go up here, too. Interesting. <laughs> Look at his hand. Creepy little Yoda hand. Wait, what the? What is that? That is a strange knight. <laughs> it's a hand axe. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Good one, Vulture. <laughs> okay, that is weird. All right, I'm gonna give... Oh my God, look at these enemies or these allies. All right, okay, I gotcha. They can't really do anything. What is this? Greatly improves the attack strength and accuracy of the selected beast. It's a bless. You can do that every turn? I bless you. Hey, don't tickle your hand axe. Not on stream. Do I want to move them? Let's just end the turn. It's fine. Oh, wait. You can summon them right up there? Can I have my turn back? I feel like I'm going to lose now very, 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 very fast. Greek fire. These obstacles explode when destroyed and inflict damage on all adjacent beasts. Okay. All right, well... I feel like I need to summon a strange slinger. Up there. Damn. Can you double bless them? Do I keep making a mistake by using my uh, main guy first? I feel like I keep making a big mistake. Bye, Mr. John.
I wonder why, uh, from a design standpoint, they, they do that. So that, that kind of ends your turn. Actually, no, it's, it, it, it still lets me do it. Okay, I got it. It still lets me, it still lets me, uh, do the turn. Right? Because we didn't go to the next chapter. I didn't get the six, uh, ink from this. Okay, so it's okay. It's a new turn, but it's not a new chapter. It didn't advance the chapter. Alright, if I go up to here... And then this guy... I can move all the way up. He's gonna outpace me, I man. Look at this. All right, chapter three. Beast statistics, movement range. The movement range of your beast is represented by two digits. The first digit marks the number of fields a beast can walk and still remain capable of performing an action. Green movement range. The second digit marks the maximum movement range of a beast, yellow movement range. Okay. So you can move green and still do an action. Yellow, then you just basically did a double move. The number found next to the cross swords in indicates the maximum damage that they can inflict. Okay. What shall we do? This guy can only attack, double attack. Attack up to three beasts that are adjacent to each other. Oh. Okay, let's do this. Actually, let's wait. Because maybe they'll move these guys down? I don't know. This ink. There's a third ink spot there. Okay. You gotta try one of these strange bishops. That thing is really terrifying. Players can have a maximum of five beasts at any given time. Once you uh, lose one of your beasts, you will be able to draw new ones. Okay. This reminds you of Monty Python a bit in terms of uh, unusualness. The art style, you know those uh, Monty, uh, the Monty Python movies, they have those like interludes with like the animated characters on the screen. Definitely the art style of this reminds me of that. Cause it's like, it's got that medieval manuscript feel, right? Uh, Techie, take care. Thank you so much for uh, watching the stream today. We got a big bogathon tomorrow. 14 hour long stream if you're around. Take care. See ya. Okay. Um, I guess I'll bless. Accuracy plus 10, plus 2 damage. Nice. I don't know if that's going to mess me up or not, but it's done. It is done. Okay, so now can the slinger shoot all three of these? This is what I was waiting for. Seven, one, and one. Ah. Can't really move anywhere. I wish I had an attack other than double attack. Can I push? 
Prayer will be, uh, will cause the beast to execute a more powerful attack on its next move. This is marked by a halo. Praying beast cannot be pushed. If you lose your way and end up in swamps of heresy, you can be absolved from your sins through prayer. Confirm your willingness to pray by clicking the active beast. Okay. Um, no, I was gonna try a push. I don't know what a push would do if there's a blockade. I don't want to destroy this. That'll blow everything up. All right, let me try to push. Oh. What? What? You can push them all the way across like that? What? Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. It pushes through the next available spot. Which in this case was bye bye. So we did the right thing. Let's immediately. Should probably move forward into the spot, should I not? Can I push this? I wish it blew up there. Oh, and he filled in behind me. And killed me. What a jerk. Uh, you can fire it here. Can't fire here, right? You can go up to three. Oh, I can't get, oh, I can't, oh, it's a barrier. Never mind. I got the barrier. Okay. Um, I can move forward more. Let's just stay there for now. Pray. Ow! Stay alive. <laughs> hey, Alaska, what's going on? Welcome to our sponsored first look at El Inca Lunati. Um. Yeah, this is a pretty bad spot for him to be, isn't it? Triple healing. Heal up the three beasts that are adjacent to each other. Including your tiny Inkalunati. Watch out, don't heal your enemies. Triple blessing. <laughs> oh, he can shoot from up there. Okay. Alright, um... I don't think I could still attack if I come down here, can I? I'm gonna move him left. Mm. Yes! Mm. Um, and I can summon a guy, right? Okay, let's do that. And I can attack? Five. Okay. Yeah, my axe guy got destroyed up there. I can summon another one, though, can I? Actually, probably not this turn. And I 
I can hit this. Let's try it. Okay, this is gonna blow up soon. What are you summoning? Don't summon that. Can they sling down a different level? Yeah. They can. Which is great. Um. Attack two beasts placed in a single line. So we can move forward to this spot and still hit these two. Oh, I waited too long. I got two and one. Damn. Eight! Eight! And it blows up. Boom. Oh. oh boy. Attack! Okay. That guy's dead. Hey, Tane, what's going on? You changed your you changed your Twitch name? How do I how do I say it? Is it extra life? At extra life? What's going on? How you doing? Welcome to our uh, sponsored look at Inca Lunati. Rico Peach, you're having IHOP for lunch, crepes. Oh my goodness, see you in a bit. Alright, enjoy. Enjoy. Alright. So where should we move? Who should we move? We should probably start summoning too. Um, he can do healing. No beast to heal in range. All right, let's try to move him. Okay, there we go. What do you think we need, gang? Another, uh... Another axe? Or do I need more slingers? I need nachos? AT Extra Life? AT Extra Life. Okay, got it. What's the range on the slingers? Uh... How do I tell? Always attacks three fields at the at the same time. I don't know. I need a color printer to make more guys faster. Inkjet. Inkjet printer. Yeah. Alright, let's summon a... Let's summon a spear. And we'll bless the axe guy. Okay. Rough. Chapter six. Apocalypse begins on chat on chapter eight, right? Is that what I said? Is that what I said it to? All right, what's the range on the slinging? One, it looks like three, but then it goes, it'll extend one more as well. So let's say if I move forward here and then triple shot, it's probably gonna hit my own guy. Oh, I could do it here, I think. Probably should have waited till right then. Yeah. You're fighting on a medieval uh, manuscript? Sacrilege. 
It's two, it's two people sitting in front of the book and they are drawing and writing the manuscript as it goes. Yeah. So that's how they handle their beefs. They, they play living ink wars. Um, and as you're attacking and stuff, they're actually writing the words on here. And it's using, using the names of our characters. It's pretty funny. Okay, who shall go? If I push... Oh, they're gonna go to that spot. But I can move over there. That's probably a terrible idea. Oh, they immediately filled in my spot. Double attack. Get back. Oh, that guy moves up. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay. Spear piercer. Can't get through this. I hate these blockades. Can I get rid of the... Let me push that. Push that. Good. He only did one. There are no beasts left that can move. I can't summon. Uh, I'll bless him. I wonder if I should move forward because the apocalypse is coming soon. Hey! Don't push me like that. Chapter 7. I feel like I'm going to lose this one. Um... Alright, I did eight to the archer. The archer's almost dead. And I killed the, uh, the blockade there. He just attacked my master for four. <clears throat> this guy's got seven life left. Uh, the master can't thumb them. He can bless, but he can't. He can't actually like attack them directly like the other uh, hero can. Yeah. Interesting. Two beasts in a single line. What about the archer? Archer, I can get all three of these spots. Let's try it. Jeez. Oh. Got it. Double kill. Yes! Okay. Damn. Okay. I can't I can't buy any reinforcements. They all cost five at least, I only have four ink. Uh Can your bishop heal your main guy? Heals th three beasts. Oh, including your tiny enchilada. Yeah. Yeah, you can. But I'd have to kind of go over here. I think I'd have to go over here and do it. No, I have to try here. I'm going to heal my You know it's going to heal my enemy. It's going to heal my guy. I think. Oh, I can do this. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, I blessed. I didn't heal. Ah, uh, E dot. It was on cooldown. All right. Well, I'm gonna lose. This is me losing. Uh, 
<laughs> How funny. I'm just, yeah, once again, I'm just showing you guys what happens if you lose in case you decide to play, you, you'll, you'll know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, not knowing, like, the first turn was not knowing I could place my people immediately up there was where I immediately went wrong. <laughs> that put me at such a disadvantage. Okay, so the flames are coming in. Um, oh, man. Uh... What are we going to summon? Oh, man. I can only summon here or here. I should have gotten this beast out of the way. Again, making mistakes all over the place here. Yeah. Who knows? You might die and progress the story like Hades. Well, it's just the demo right now, so I think these are just like pretty much like little stand -up. There are some unlockables for the demo, but the actual progression of the game will come out with the uh, with the full release later this year. Yeah. What happens now? Oh, he's going to go all the way over there. That's just going to make him nice and uh, prime for attacking. Another example of what not to do. Mm-hmm. For sure. Love the animations and the art. The art's great. Uh, triple shot. Okay, and the bliss is over. And he can summon another thing. Yes. Also, why are you lizard chickens? Well, we unlocked this hero, which is the master. The master summons strange knights, strange spearmen, strange slingers, and strange bishops. They are not lizard chickens. They're just strange. Hey, honorable toast. Now this is an interesting art style. It is. Type hashtag game, play the free demo. Inca Lunati, wish list. All right. Um, this this is gonna be engulfed in fire in a minute, so we have to move. Let's get out of here. Fire. Three damage. And we lose. Well, there you go. By progression. All right. We've unlocked Snail. Hildegard was granted a new Elinconati hand action and can now draw a snail. And Godfrey was granted a new one. He can draw a mighty dog. Mighty dogs and snails. A powerful version of the dog swordsman. The rumor has it he can take down a rabbit in one hit. All right, let's try that again. Let's try the Vast Glade. Now you can see my donkey bards. Okay. Fifteen it costs. Alright, should I just should I just spend all my ink on a mighty dog? Twenty-five life? 
cost 15. Yeah. Or do you think I should take these couple of ink spots with the cheapest guys? Let's do a dog archer up here. And a dog swordsman here. And that way we get extra ink. Um, good. I'm happy with that. Wilberg! Okay, we both have nine ink. Interesting how this is a two-tier approach now. Um, I can move all the way to here and still fire. can't stop him from doing that. How unfortunate. If I blow this up, it's going to hurt me too, though. Let's try it. So the question is, do I summon another thing up here or save up for the, the big beef? What do you think? Let's move him forward. Save up? How many am I gonna get next turn? I'm only gonna get one, because I'm not in any spots. I think, I think my my time to uh, summon the big guy has passed. Hmm. I can move one here. Um, let's put it here. Lion or snarf, snarf. All right, whose turn? To move forward and attack the rabbit. Also, I think I can shoot down. So if I go here and I shoot, I should be able to shoot. Yeah, I can shoot whoever I want here. Should I try to shoot this? Can I kill it? No, I can't kill it. Oh, that was a grave mistake. Uh. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Can the spear guy kill the... No. I know what to do. Move here. We'll do a double attack. It would have been so great if I didn't do one damage to the rabbit. I was so con concerned with, uh. <laughs> I was so concerned with blowing up the barrel. Oh, that was fast. That was too fast. You're back in stuffed wrinkle peach? Nice. 
Welcome back. There you go. How'd you like them apples? How'd you like them apples? She's summoning more. Oh good, right underneath me. Perfect. Triple shot. You know, I'm gonna... So if I stay there, I get the ink. Move forward. I can't shoot past this, right? I move this forward then they're gonna just jump me which I don't really want I'm gonna start with uh, just attacking this the archers the uh, meter goes up and down slowly so you have more accuracy the spear guy it goes real quick um yeah I'm in trouble I wish I brought that big guy out to start. Yeah. At least they can't get at me now. There you go. Take six. Oh, he's gonna attack my archer. Shit. Not great. Not great. Rabbits from behind. They have so many more people. Fire's coming. Brace yourself. I'm going to get plus nine this round, though. All right, we're up to ten. Triple shot doesn't get anything behind there. Um... She's got nowhere to go. That'd be interesting, huh? Uh... I wonder if I should break that barrier down or not, now that I think about it. Let's just shoot this one. <laughs> He's behind me. <laughs> Ow! My ink. Four. <laughs> I like how the attacking works a lot. What is he doing? <laughs> Wait, you can attack down from up above? What? Nobody told me that. Get out of here. Don't do that ever again. Um. And then we'll shove this guy. Yeah, and now he's in the fire. I like that. I like it. Should I move him to the right? No, I think we'll end turn there. Perfect. <laughs> Arr -roo! Sounds like Scooby Doo. Raggy! I wonder how many champions they're gonna have. Anybody know? So we've seen three champions so far with their army. Goodbye.
I only have two, two people. All right, let's do double attacks. Seven and a five, not bad, not bad. Wait, you can shoot that far? That's really far. Wish I can go to the ink and still shoot. Can you get somebody on the ink? I don't think so, right? You gotta get out. Um. <gasps> and we gotta summon something. Can't summon on any ink. Which is unfortunate. Hi, Zircaw. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. All right, I guess that's all we can do. Can we block her in? That's the big question here. And pray. Don't die! Oh no, is my guy gonna die? Is it all gonna be for nothing? guy's a sword guy, so I don't think he's going to be able to attack unless this spot is clear. Right? So I don't want to I don't want to open this slot up until... Did this one go yet? How do you tell if an enemy is gone yet? Do you guys know? Uh, this one... How do you tell which one's which? Because one of them is gray up here. The spear one's already gone. Okay, so the sword one hasn't gone yet. All right, um, like how I answered my own question. If I move, let me move. Here, try to block the whole darn thing. Okay, now that that's gone. Oh, I can't do the double. Dead. Okay. Hey. Oh, you could do that. I thought she was stuck. Oh, okay. Uh, I was silly. Can I just directly attack her? Yes. Ugh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um. Yeah. Move on to the ink. You just smacked the nun. It's all part of the game. <laughs> Interactive pop-up book? Kind of looks like that, right? Yeah. Oh, I lost. Balls. Damn. All right, so this game gets challenging. Once there's multiple levels, I see a lot of potential for this. All right, what did we unlock? Anything? Exploding head. The master has granted a new Alukonami hand action. It can now draw an exploding head. How great. I love the creatures in this. So, so far we've seen three masters or three champions with their armies. 
there's going to be official progression once the game is launched. But this is the demo, which you can download for free and check out. It looks like you can you can play uh, versus somebody else in local co-op right now, which is nice. Choose your levels, choose your characters. You can change how many chapters to the apocalypse, how many starting ink and all that. It's pretty cool. And there's a campaign teaser as well. So guys, check this out on Steam. Wishlist it. Help out the devs. This will be coming out later this year. I backed it on Kickstarter. Um, I'm super excited for this game. It looks really cool. Have to wrap my brain around the strategies a little bit. But thanks so much to Daedalic Entertainment for sponsoring uh, today's uh, segment. There is a publisher sale going on on Steam until May 3rd. So check out all the uh, the games that the Dalek has for sale up there. And you can try the free demo of this. And there you go. Um, if you're watching this um, on Steam, this is a pre-recorded uh, stream that I did on the 29th of April. But you can feel free to come over to my Twitch channel anytime, twitch.tv slash bogotter, and smack that follow button. Would, would totally appreciate that. Uh, I stream Monday through Friday over on Twitch, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. We play a whole bunch of different games. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this segment. Thanks so much for watching. And check out Ink Illuminati.